don't know what to say for this for a fancy intro, but well, I guess this is a no smoking zone. Yo, yo, YouTubers! Welcome back to Let's Play Pokémon Sapphire. Last time we started down Route 111 and caught ourselves Torkoal, the next member of our team, otherwise known as Queen Cole. Yeah, like I said at the end, at the end of last time, I kind of lost my list somewhere. Actually, I think I threw it away by mistake. So. My last Pokemon, I think I have no idea what to name that one. I originally had names for it, but I think one of them was already taken and the other wouldn't exactly work, so... We shall just see, and if this lady is, op is required, then I guess I'll show you a quick little experience trick when you have the experience share. Um, Chugga, well, he certainly doesn't... He, he is a good LP -er, I know that, but... When it comes to the experience share in Pokemon games, he sure has his um, stats mixed up. He needs to do some experimenting, I think. Well, I'm about to show you what I mean. Yep, you got a battler. So I'll show you what I mean in this battle. Here we go! Okay, pay close attention to the experience here. I think Cole got that much, and Steph got that much. See? The old switch Rooney trick you used before you got that thing? That's very useful here as well. You, um, the Pokemon holding the experience shell get a, will get a bigger amount of the experience, so... That's a nifty trick to use, and I highly recommend you use it. Anyway, back to the music. Away we go, away we go. Back to the music, away we go, on the live long day. Do not teach Fire Spin. It is a very bad move. That's all I gotta say. And Lynette, you found another item. What you got? And it's another Nugget. Sweet. More Moolah. As you know, we love Moolah. And we're here on Route 113. Oh my god, is this snow? No. We're here in the... Here in the whoops, I forgot my rappel. God dang it. Anyway, very common around here are Spinda, a uh, very average, and I do mean very, average normal type. And the only unique thing about it is that every time, is that um, everyone you find at spots are in a different position, so... It's kind of a weird gimmick that the, that Nintendo gave it, so it's... meh. Probably should use it on something else, but hey. Something. Everything's got their ups and downs, don't they? And is Queen Cole seriously gonna KO this thing? I guess so, thanks to that burn. Sure, smog missed, but that burn did the trick. Hmm. That could lead to something later. So, for now, we still gotta use these... these Lel repels, and there are a lot more battles here. All skippable, I imagine. And another double battle there. Now let's see, all the way up here, we have a Max Ether. Already went over that before. Alright, fortunately, fortunately, a set of twins won't catch your attention when you try to, when you try to move out of the way. Anyway, go in here and talk to this gentleman here, who likes to go huff huff and puff puff and blow your house down. He makes glass items out of ash. So he will give you the soot sack. 
as you walk in that, volcan that volcanic ash stuff that's all over the tall grass, you'll collect ashes. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Huh. Pretty much. There goes the Vector off again. That's a common thing in Pokemon LPs. Oh my, repels effect war off. And here we have TM32, I think? Something tells me that's double team. Yeah, it is. So I'm not teaching it to anybody. Yes, yeah, Steph had it before, but she's not going to have it again. So here we are in Fall Arbor Town. Um, there really isn't anything to, to find out here. Just another contest hall, which I'll go over some other time. And a new Pokemon Center and a new Pokemart. Hey lady, what what are you doing to that PC there? Don't you know I'm probably gonna need that thing pretty dang soon, god dang it? Don't you? Don't you? So yeah. So here we have Lynette. So Lynette and Lin and Lynette. I think I see what that guy what that guy was also going for. Sheesh, what a tongue twister. Very funny. Anyway, the the main thing we need to do is to go is to repel the effect war off. No, the main thing we need to do is to go down this way and avoid these avoid these battles here. I want to avoid them. Whoop! Skip you. And was there an item up there? Let's see. Yep, there was, and it's a protein. Um, like I said, there are a lot of vitamins out here. Protein increases physical attack power. So, that's very nifty. Now, I'm sure you've noticed that I've got a lot of, that I've got, like, six rare candies up there. And you're probably thinking I could probably use those to, um, level up Queen Cole. But, that's just too easy. Besides, rare candies aren't exactly that great for leveling up, and... You can be skipped, I imagine, yes. And you can be skipped. Those hikers also have that annoying music. And in here we have Meteor Falls. Um, later on, after you get your 8th badge, you can actually get a very powerful Pokémon up here. But it's not in this area, it's something you need one last HM move for. Anyway, you want to come down here and it looks like we got... We got more Aqua Grunts here. And what you're looking here, another team, Team Magma. If you were playing Ruby, these guys would be your enemies, and Team Aqua would be on your side. So it's really weird how that how that works. Apparently in Ruby, te Team Magma wants to expand the landmass, removing all the sea. So that's also kind of a bad idea because we kind of need water to survive, salt water otherwise. So, yeah, you get the idea. Yeah, goodbye, so- uh, Goodbye, see you later. And you? This guy's Cosmo, huh? It's kind of an unusual name. So those Team, o so those team Aqua guys, they're heading to Mount Chimney, eh? Well, we- uh, And of course, it's a Zubat. And I figured that would happen since Queen Cole's still pretty low-leveled. Sorry about that. I was in the middle of taking a drink. Now, where were we? Up here we can find a Moonstone. Unlike the Everstone, stones like the Moonstone can, ev can involve certain Pokémon. Uh, what now? And of course, another Zubat! <laughs> Pokémon Yellow, anybody? Okay, can we please get out of here? Thank you. And just to avoid all these trainers again, teleport away if you please, Steffi. Here we go! Okay, so away we go. Now I'm gonna keep the repel off because there actually is another Pokémon I want to find. Which is the last Pokémon for my team, and no, it's not Sandshrew. I believe I'm, I'm actually playing through Pokemon Blue version right now. 
And actually, I actually have a Sancho on my team. It's proven to be pretty good, actually. So, I suppose if you want, want to have a Sancho or Sand Slash, this would be a pretty decent pick, actually. So, yeah, you heard it straight from the Hedgehog's mouth. Just if you if you want a Sandshrew or Sand Slash or at least a decent ground type, then go for Sandshrew. That's just me. Of course, in this game you won't get it till later, so... That's kind of an up and down thing. So anyway, in order to collect the axe, you have to, you have to walk through the tall grass till it turns green again. Once it's green, it has no more ash. And it's another spinda. whoop de blip and do While I'm collecting all these ashes and looking for that Pokémon, I'm probably just gonna cut to when I find it, so... <clears throat> so, I'll see you guys there again, and that one's spots look kinda wacky. Finally, we found one approximately 8-9 minutes later. It's Skarmory! Skarmory is a flying steel type. And its physical defense is pretty dang good, I gotta say. And honestly, I like this Pokémon quite a lot. And good to mail as well. At least I think that even stains out. That's three females and three males. Yes, that's good enough for me. So, Skarmory, um, some say it's another overused pick, but really, it's a pretty dang good pick, I think. Alright, let's see how much Nightshade will do. It'll do 26 damage, so... Wow, that's definitely way too much to handle. Or too much for Skarmory, anyway. And we still have a few Luffa Berries, so may as well use them to bring Thief back up. Yeah, there was a, there was a bit of off-screen training while looking for this thing, so... And Shadow pretty much lost Thief, so... Yeah. Actually, I want to bring Steph out, because I want to see what, what its ability is. Since Trace will let us know what the ability is. And it's Keen Eye! Good. Pretty much the same as... Um, 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 uh, same as Sableye. Which means they both can't lose their accuracy. Or at least their accuracy can not decrease. Okay, agility, that'll double its speed pretty much. So so speed pretty much goes up by two. Okay, I think that's pretty decent enough. So only 21 Pokeballs. Let's go. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Apparently he don't like to be called baby. And again, that's probably something that a guy would say to a girl, not a guy to a guy. Unless he was, well, you know. Which kind of brings up something else that kind of bothers me sometimes. Apparently people think gay is like only an insult, nothing else. But you realize, but apparently way back in the early, early days, gay also means like very, very happy. So, so gay pretty much has multiple meanings. But really, the very, very happy meaning, I think that's technically the true meaning. I think I think gay like homosexual really should be just homosexual, not gay. You know what I mean? I mean the whole thing about people using gay as an insult—it's just just—it's wrong. It's just really really wrong. And Skarmory, will you just get in the ball already, please? Ugh. I, you know, come to think, but I could try bringing out Slack off again to use Yawn, but then again. Then again, Skarmory is pretty powerful and, well, it could do a lot of damage to us, but... What the heck, we'll try it. We'll see if he uses Agility or Sentac. Let's see. And used Swift. So, that was a waste of time. And we're all out of Fake Outs, too. Well, Shadow's just gonna have to hold out. Its only other attack is um, Swift. Which is a normal attack and won't do that much damage, and speaking of damage, let's try Thief. It shouldn't do that much. Um, Thief being a dark type attack in 3rd gen, it may appear physical, but really it's a special attack. Okay, good, it's in the red. That should make it slightly easier. Though probably not by much. Nope, that didn't work. Apparently I'm all out of things to talk about. 
Well, I'm just chucking Ultra Balls at it. J just chucking my shines! Uh, I mean, Pokeballs. For Pete's sake! I better not lose all my Pokeballs here, otherwise I'll lose my theme. Probably know what that is by now. Come on, come on! When I said come on, I did not mean come on out. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right! Wow, what is with me today? I'm just coming up with all sorts of random stuff. It's, it's really weird. It's really, really, really weird. I don't understand it. Then again, there are a lot of things about myself I don't understand. Or about people I don't understand. I mean, like, like, some, like while I was working today, I just, I just realized that, I kind of figured that, well, it's, I find it weird that people play their music and their radio so, like, really, really loud when they're, when they're driving. I was like, what are they trying to do, make themselves blind? Uh, deaf, I mean, not blind, deaf, deaf. Well, that got me thinking. Do they want to be deaf when they grow old? Is that way they can collect from, like, insurance companies or something? As if they do, that's pretty cheap. Not to mention that's a lot cheap. Hey, right, come on. Yeah! Yes! Finally got that Skarmory. And how many Pokeballs do I have left? I have no idea. Okay, so we got our, our special armor bird. And, well, in comes the nickname. If you've seen my comic on smackjeeves.com, you probably know what this is gonna be. Scratch that. I decided to name him Falcon Zord, if you've seen the original Power Rangers, that is. Which apparently I'm re-watching on Netflix, and I'm definitely enjoying it. And speaking of Power Rangers, I kinda miss the original Megazord. I admit, it's, pr it's pretty much one of the best Megazords in the original. Well, that and Mega Tiger Zord. Mega Tiger Zord was definitely my absolute favorite. Even more than, than the original Mega Zord. So yes, we now have our final, the final member of our team, Falcon Zord the Skarmory, and that's really all there is to it. I'm thinking we're probably going to go to Mount Chimney next time, so, you know, that's what we're going to do. Next time on Pokemon Sapphire, we're going to, we are going to, uh, wow, only 7 left? Wow, we had to start like, like 21. Not much of an achievement, but still. Um, anyways. Next time on Pokemon Sapphire, we will go to Mount Chimney and figure out what the heck Team Aqua is up to. Kinda makes me wonder why they're going to Mount Chimney, though. Sounds like a really hot place. Must be an internal hot foot. <laughs> so, until the next time, YouTubers, on that note, I take my leave. And I'm going shopping.